Flex McAllister with Live No Excuses Radio, and I am talking about the Buckeye Cruise for Cancer. I get to go on it. I don't know why, but Lisa Sisko, the founder, is allowing me and my hubby to go on the cruise, and I'm talking to Mark Lobb of Byers Mazda Subaru, who's also a huge supporter of the cruise, and Craig Krenzel. If you don't know who he is, we'll take a listen. He is the Ohio State University alum. He's fantastic. He's funny. The interview gets a little out of hand. I make a little fumble but I recovered a little bit. <laughs> Take a listen. Today we're going to be living really large. I'm so excited. Today we have some amazing people on the show. I've got the Mark Lobb, the general manager for Buyers Mazda Subaru. I myself am a Buyers uh, customer. Then he's going to introduce his good friend, the Lisa Cisco. She is the founder, the creative mind behind the Buckeye Cruise for Cancer. And I don't know why, but she's letting my husband and I go on this cruise. And we're going to get into what that cruise is all about, who it benefits, why she does it, why she loves it. It's a big deal. And I'm excited excited to have her on the show. And then she introduces Craig Krenzel. Now, if you don't know who Craig Krenzel is, he is one of those blonde, blue-eyed little heartthrobs who helped the Ohio State University take it all the way. I'm so excited. I can't even take it. Oh, I know. We have 30 athletes this year. We're so excited. Um, we have two Heisman Trophy winners, Archie Griffin and Hopalong Cassidy. We have Hopalong? Yes. What? We have Hopalong. Yes. This absolutely. Is We're so excited. I understand you managed to get one of the cutest blondes in town. You know how I feel about blondes. Blondes are in the house. We've got the Craig Krenzel. What's up, Craig? Not much, not much. Now, Craig, I have one of the most important questions to ask you. It's probably the most important question you've ever been asked. It may change your life. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, sometimes I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of doubting that it's really going to be life-altering, but I'll, let's go. Let's for, for me, it's life-altering, all right? Are you... All right. Are you a natural blonde, Craig? Am I? <laughs> Are you a natural blonde? It's imperative. As, as, as compared to what? <laughs> to a a uh, box made blonde, as we call them. <laughs> uh, no, I, <laughs> there's a few things in life that I have never and will never do, and I'm pretty sure that's one of them. Okay. But a little, but a little food for thought. When I was a child, I was I was a bright redhead. Well, I was. I, I was. I was. I was the funny looking kid with the glasses and the big gap between my two front teeth. Were you made fun of? <laughs> <laughs> Were you made fun of in class? Uh, I, not I would, in class, mostly by my family. I would. Not I would have really made fun not of you. Not really in public or by friends or anything, but mostly, mostly just by my family. Is that why you became a big important quarterback that all the girls love because you were made fun <laughs> of as a child? Is this a deep rooted psychological issue you have? <laughs> It must be. I guess it must be. I never really thought about it that way. Maybe I was just trying to prove everybody wrong. Okay. Well, you did pretty good, I think. You always got to be friends with the quarterback. So if you want to be my friend, I'm I'm cool. We can be friends if you want to. Is that all right? We'll see. We'll see how nice you are. Okay. Now, you're going to be on the cruise. I'm going to introduce you to my husband. Be nice to him, even if you don't like me. He didn't do anything wrong here, okay? But oh, no, I'll definitely. I'll be nice to him. I'll sympathize <laughs> for him, and I'll have pity on him. So. so now, how'd you get involved? We'll, we'll have a good time, he and I. <laughs> okay. How'd you get involved with the uh, Buckeye Cruise Idol? Did Lisa make make you do that or you just naturally <laughs> like Simon Cowell? Uh, you know, I think it's a little bit of both, actually. I, I do know a lot of people that think I'm kind of a jerk. Okay. Um, and, I, you know, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do. I try to be as nice as possible, and, and sometimes it just doesn't work out. But at least asked me before uh, last year's cruise if it would be something that I could do. And, you know, to be honest, I really, I mean, I really wasn't that comfortable. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I can be a jerk, and I know that. But <laughs> okay. I mean, he kind of takes it to a whole other level. Right. So it was, at first, it was a little uncomfortable, um, you know, but after about 30 seconds of it, it actually kind of felt pretty natural. So I don't know if it's a good thing I or a bad thing. I was going to say about 30 seconds, exactly. <laughs> about 30 seconds, you get into it. Now, if I sing, I want you to be brutally honest with me, Craig, about how, you know, how my talent level. That's something you won't have to worry about. Okay. And the funny thing about it is they are, I mean, Lisa's actually picked somebody that has zero musical talent. I mean, I could not carry a tune to save my soul if I had to. So oh, the funny thing, that, that's to me the most ironic part is, you know, I'm up there kind of ripping people apart or doing whatever, and uh, if I had to even try to justify my critique, I couldn't even tell you where to start. Okay. All right. So you, you can't carry a tune, but can you bust a move? Are you going to be shaking your tail feather on the cruise? Uh, no, I don't do that either. <laughs> Everyone, this is a promise. I will have my flip camera ready to go at any moment if Craig decides to shake 
uh, to cut the rug is that one of those old school phrases my generation doesn't use that phrase but no. i've i've heard my mom say if he if he decides to cut the rug i'll i'll, I'll get it on flip camera all right craig yeah, if you if you get anything on camera, that means we're all having a real good time. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> you didn't tell her those weren't allowed then, huh? No. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have a flip camera? No. What? <laughs> what happens on the ship stays Easy. on the ship. Oh, I like <laughs> this. Answer. I like this a lot. All right. Well, hey, Craig, I just recently got married to my childhood sweetie, and you've been you've been in the married world for quite some time. You got any pointers for me? Yeah, he's always right. Oh. That's, that's the best piece of advice I could give you is that, that he's going to be right. Maybe not always, but like 99.9% of the time. And you have, three, just, you have three little ones, which adds even more pressure to the mix, right? We do. We do. My wife, Beth, and I, are. we've been blessed with three beautiful, healthy children, uh, our oldest, Braden turned five a couple weeks ago, and our little girl Ellie is uh, she'll be three in April, and then we have a little boy Austin who's uh, five, a little over five months old now. So we're, uh, our hands are full. We have a lot of fun. How do you stay focused nowadays? Because when you you said that you're very competitive, and I actually read an, an interview with you where you talked about the fact that you still like to beat your children. You don't let them win even when you're racing them and, and, and playing basketball with them. That sounds a little like Mommy Dearest, that old school movie where she wouldn't let the poor girl win the, the swimming race. What's up with that, Craig? Well, I was going to make sure that you clearly define what you meant when you say, like, I like to beat my children. No! You know, that sound very good. In <laughs> competitive sports, anyone who misconstrues that just has way too much time on their hands. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, it's, it's, it's just the way I'm wired. <laughs> I'm going to beat you on the cruise ship, and I mean it. No, I'm joking. I've never, uh, you know, I've never enjoyed losing at anything. <laughs> I've never enjoyed, you know, uh, failure. I, I, don't, I don't know too too many people that have, and... You know, it's just one of those things in life that drives me nuts. So whatever, uh, whatever it is that I'm doing, um, it's just kind of like a mental thing in the back of my mind that I just I have to win. Right. And uh, when I don't, it it makes me very angry. Uh, you know, all, all the the joking about beating the kids or playing basketball with the kids, uh, you know, that's that's kind of a big facade. I'm I'm a softy on the inside, and you know, I make sure that uh, you know if I do let the kids win in something that, you know, if we're playing like three games, you know, I'll, I'll win one or two and they'll win one. So it's, it's kind of a balance and a blend. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what, though? Like Mommy Dira said, life isn't fair. And apparently Craig agrees. No, I'm joking. Well, Craig. Oh, I, I, use, I, use, <laughs> I use that line all the time. <laughs> okay. We're back. I'm Lex. This is Live No Excuses Radio. I'm with Lisa. I'm with uh, Craig Krenzel, and I, I hope I didn't make him too mad. Craig is a fantastic father. He only likes to win in games. He doesn't like to beat people in games. He likes to win in games. I just wanted to correct that because we talked about it last segment. Craig is a very gentle, gentle giant. And you're tall. You're like 6'4", right, Craig? I am. I'm a shade. I'm a shade under six four if I don't have shoes on. So. All right, and of course he is a natural blonde. I made sure to clarify that, ladies, at the beginning, at the top of the hour. But Craig, more importantly, why don't you tell me one of your most favorite parts of the cruise or favorite aspects of the cruise, the Buckeye Cruise for Cancer? That is. Oh man, I don't know if I can really like pick out one favorite moment. I mean, there's just so many. 